Good afternoon. Hello, Jasmine. How are you? I'm well. So um, first, um, I'll introduce myself. My name is Jasmine Anderson. I'm the Operations Manager with the Zan Wesley Holmes Junior Community Outreach Center. And with us today, we have Ms. Kim Washington. And I will um, let her introduce herself a little bit more, and then we'll move into our questions. Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me to the conversation. I'm excited uh, to be here today, uh, sharing with our audience about all the great opportunities that we have, uh, or you guys have there at Zane Wesley Holmes uh, Junior Community Outreach Center. So first, let me ask you, what is your role um, inside the, the Low Voltage Program? Okay. Um, my role uh, with the program in the Low Voltage Program is to be the case manager. I am a certified case manager. And what I do, I monitor the success uh, plan that the students have put in place for themselves. So when they come in, I take assessment. I listen to their stories, I listen to their challenge, uh, their dreams, their goals, and we come up with a plan. And so what I do is monitor their, uh, uh, their pathway and connect them with the necessary resources they need to obtain that goal. Uh, the second component, yes, the mm -hmm. second component uh, to our case management uh, delivery uh, with the program is our EI, our emotional intelligence, uh, which is very essential to having a sustainable lifestyle. Um, it brings so much fulfillment to your sustained lifestyle. Um, being able to have better relationships with your, your family, your husband, your wife, people that you interact with on a daily basis. And I was saying, that's absolutely beautiful, and we truly appreciate you, um, as well as I know that a lot of the participants um, appreciate you as well. And kind of that, that's a great segue into um, our next question, which are, what are some of the success stories that you have witnessed thus far while working with some of our low-voltage students? Oh, wow. We have had some great success stories there uh, in the program, even in the short time that we've been there. We have seen individuals start their own small business. Uh, uh, after they um, uh, graduate the program, we have seen people take hold of their financial plans and just execute them. You know, they start with small increments of savings and they gradually start investing. So that is always exciting to see when they um, execute their own plan, you know, by listening, uh, coming to the classes and they just take off and we love it. So we definitely appreciate it. that you brought a lot of different resources and um, softwares and apps that the students were able to take advantage of in the class that were that allowed them to um, not only learn the things that you had to give them, but be able to practice those things as they continue as they left the program. And so we were definitely pleased to see that a lot of them were able to grow those different asset classes and able to even budget their money where they were able to start to, like you said, invest as well. Because that really goes, I think, hand in hand with our mission, which is creating those sustainable pathways out of poverty. So it's one thing to just teach them that skill set, but showing them how to manage and maintain the revenue that's going to start coming in once they've um, mastered that skill. And so we definitely appreciate you with that. So with that, I want to also ask, what is your overall goal or hope um, for the program with the students as we continue to move forward? My overall hope for each individual student that comes in um, is that they come in and they take advantage of the program and all the benefits that uh, the program has to offer. Um, my objective of, of being there uh, as a case manager is to get each person, each student to um, believe that anything is possible for them because they come in with their, they have a sense of, of what they wanting to do. Um, they have things in their heart that they want to execute, uh, but they have fear and they have doubt. And so my overall hope and my objective is to bring 
uh, hope and let them know uh, that anything is possible for them. And that's great that you say that because we work with, like you said, a lot of different people. I'm sorry. Yes. And I wanted to say anything is possible. I always tell them anything is possible for them, uh, but you have to do the work. You know, it, it don't come in your sleep. You have to apply the knowledge that you're receiving uh, and you have to put action to what you're wanting to achieve. And I think that's very true of you as well as the rest of our team of instructors, especially our um, executive director, is that we can have the vision for you and we can put these things in place. But um, ultimately, you have to be willing to put in the work that's required to actually sustain these changes or to even allow these changes to actually happen. So um, I definitely think that you've done an amazing job with that and noticing that in those individuals. So we're very excited as we prepare and get ready for our next program. Um, well, as we get ready for our next session or our next class, um, next cohort, um, whatever we would like to call it. But um, <laughs> so with that being said, um, why would you recommend, one, would you recommend this program to anyone and why? My goodness, oh yes. I would definitely recommend the program um, for two reasons. One, uh, low voltage uh, is it's going to be a high demand. It is our future. Um, and it's on high demand. And the staff there, our community there, have a heart, has a sincere heart for our students. And so I would recommend in the individual who are, who's looking uh, to um, learn a new trade, looking to learn a new trade, uh, to come in to Zane Wesley and look at all the different uh, uh, programs that they have to offer. Uh, and I would definitely recommend it. Uh, like I said, we have a great team there that really have a heart for our community, have a heart for each person. So yes, we're like a family. So I would definitely uh, recommend this program. And so I just want to take this time to say thank you for not only myself and from the students that have already participated in the program and future students, but also from the entire Zen Listening Homes team and say, because um, we, we definitely see all of the work and the effort and the time that you invest into each individual. And um, that's truly, that's a passion. That's not necessarily, that's a calling. And so we definitely notice that anointing on you and we truly do appreciate it. Um, and then, like I said, we will do a couple of more of these um, interviews or commercials um, with some of our other instructors, some of our other students. So that way we can better explain to you all why, um, why we're doing what we're doing, what it is that we do, and most importantly, why we want other people to come on board and join us um, at whatever capacity they're able to. So if you're looking to volunteer, if you're looking to join the program, if you know someone that may be interested in this, we truly hope that you're able to let them know what we have, um, that not only are we providing them with a free job skills training opportunity, like you said, that's going to carry them very much so into the future. But aside from that, we also want to work on, we, we're creating a truly holistic approach and we want to work on the whole man and not just providing them with that skill. So if you know someone that's interested in this or if that's something that you want to be a part of, please let us know. Um, the email address is info, I-N-F-O, at Z-W-H-J-C-O-C dot org, and that's O-R-G. I'll repeat that, that's info at Z-W-H-J-C-O-C dot org. We appreciate it. Um, you can also go on our website. You can apply there. You'll fill out the applications. We're doing virtual to stay, make sure that we stay safe. I'm inside of this COVID pandemic because um, we understand that it's definitely a lot going on with that and we're very aware. So we're doing virtual um, interviews. Most of the classes will also be virtual as well. Um, there is a hands-on component, but that will be outside in the actual elements. So that should um, lessen that risk there. And then we're definitely going to make sure that we have lots of safety precautions in place if that's a concern of yours. And again, if that is also a concern, please feel free to email us again at that info at zwhjcoc.org. And I'll be more than glad to schedule some time with you to go more in depth on what we're doing to make sure that we're providing a safe environment to not only the participants, but to our staff and to our instructors. 
So again, thank you for your time today. Uh, we look forward to this next class. Um, Pam, before I sign this out, is there anything else that you would like to add? No, I will be there waiting uh, to meet you and greet you. Uh, and God bless. All right. Well, thank you. Go and sign up now. You, um, I don't want to quote any dates, so we'll put it in the actual bio um, on when is the last day to apply online and then um, what day. And we're doing the actual interviews on July the 30th and 31st, but you have to apply online first in order to do that. I think it's the 29th, but like I said, we'll confirm that in the bio and then hopefully we'll start those classes somewhere in August, but we'll communicate that to those that are actually chosen for the program. But again, thank you for your time. We appreciate you. We appreciate our viewers. We appreciate our supporters. And until next time. Bye-bye.